Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, coming to you today with the FLIR 1 Pro. Just picked this up about a month ago and thought it'd be fun to play with. So, wanted to give a brief introduction video with it first before I uh, uh, put it to work. This is the third gen model of the FLIR 1 Pro. Uh, it features a one-fit adjustment height connector, which you can see is the blue-rimmed uh, round object at the top of it, which can fit over most phone cases. It allows you to uh, raise and lower the connector uh, to get around those phone cases. Now, there is a standard FLIR one, uh, not a pro. The pro purports to have four times resolution comparatively, and they use FLIR's MSX imaging, uh, which provides crisper uh, pictures and video. FLIR says the unit can be used to view temperatures between negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 752 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. Uh, they provide you with a charging cable. It's USB-C, which plugs into the FLIR 1 Pro, uh, and it's a USB, so it can go right into your... Uh, phone chargers at home in the wall, into your computer's USB, uh, whatever you may use to charge it. Uh, they drop tested it uh, from 5.9 feet. I don't plan on doing that myself. We'll take their word for it if we can avoid that. I've played with the unit a little bit myself around the house, and we'll do that here in a little bit too uh, in a separate video. And one thing I did want to cover though is I got the opportunity a few times to use the unit outdoors. Now the FLIR 1 Pro has its own internal battery. It doesn't use any battery power off your iPhone. And I noticed in the cold weather, at least, the battery went very quickly. Um, I was using it in temperatures with a wind chill of 20 below up to about 15 degrees real temperature on a few different occasions. And while the unit did function um, flawlessly, in my opinion, uh, you did have to uh, combat that short battery life. So whatever you're using it for out there, you have to be prepared to take it back inside a warm car or a warm house, warm it up, maybe charge it up before you can get it running again. Now I'll be using the iPhone model of the FLIR 1 Pro and it's going to be used on either an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6S depending on the circumstances. Uh, FLIR does release a free app for you to use. Uh, you can download from the App Store whether you own the device or not, so that's something you can check out. Now the tests I'll conduct are not scientific, I'm just a normal guy uh, playing with this and was enjoying it enough thought I'd share it with the world. Um, these photos you see here are of me and another person. The front end in the lower left hand corner uh, of my car is visible. It had been running for a few hours. And he is standing about ooh, 50 feet away with his hand on a tree. In this second image you'll see he moves away from the tree and the residual heat is still present. That's several seconds after he stepped away from the tree. I plan on releasing another video specifically going through the app itself and different things it can do. It's a lot to take in. It's very helpful to play with it a little bit and try to understand some of the features the FLIR 1 Pro offers. Uh, I plan on making other videos. Uh, for example, I plan on firing a pistol, uh, rifle, and would like to see how the FLIR 1 picks up and for how long it'll pick up the heat signatures from those shell casings. Is it something that you can walk around from, you know, height the height of your hand and view something bright on the ground or do you need to be closer to ground level to even pick it up and that I mean how good is it um, so look for videos like that I'm always open to suggestions so feel free to message and post if there's something you'd like to see specifically and I'll do my best to provide that this is uh, something I'm doing for fun I work two jobs so this is kinda on the side so who knows how long I'll be able to do this or how, how often but I'm um, always open to suggestions, tips, and uh, any comments you might have. So thanks for watching.